What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best optimal settings for the RPCS3 emulator on Android to get the best performance. With the new Alpha 5.2 update, they have fixed a lot of graphical issues, improved compatibility, and also resolved crash issues for Snapdragon users. All right, so I've already updated RPCS3 to the 5.2 build. Everything remains the same and your data won't be removed. I also have the latest firmware version 4.92 installed. Now, let's head over to settings. Here, I'll show you the best configuration settings to improve overall stability and performance. Now go to advanced settings and first head to core. Here in PPU decoder, set it to recompiler LLVM. Here the PPU threads are set to two. Scroll down, select SPU decoder, set it to recompiler. Set preferred SPU threads to two. Here. SPU delay penalty is set to three. Scroll down and here leave everything to default. Now let's go back. Now to video, this is very important to configure for better performance without any issues. Select Vulkan. Here make sure to set asynchronous queue scheduler to safe mode. And here there is a custom driver. Enable turbo mode. This is actually an experimental feature that helps boost performance. All right, now get back. Set resolution to lowest possible as of now, like to 480p or 576p. So 720 by 480 is selected. Aspect ratio is set to 16 by nine. Set frame limit to auto, or if you are using low end device, set it to 30. Here in shader mode, select async with shader interpreter. Set shader precision to low. Scaling mode is set to bilinear. And there is also FSR as well, but I'll leave it to default. Here enable white color buffers, and red color buffers. If you're facing graphical issues in games like God of War 3, this is optional in most cases. Enable V-Sync for stability, or if you want more FPS, you can disable it. Scroll down. Here enable Stretch to Fit Display Area, which ensures games load in full screen. And that's it. These are the best recommended settings that we will be using on this RPCS3 version. Now let's move on to the most important part, Custom Graphics Driver. Here, you need to install an alternative driver to improve performance or accuracy. If you're using a Snapdragon device, I recommend using the Mesa Turnip Driver version 25.1.EU R2 as it is well optimized. We have already tested this driver on WinLater and Game Fusion Emulator, and it works great. Simply download the driver file, then add the driver. Select the Turnip Driver, and as you can see, it has been successfully installed. Now, select Mesa Turnip Driver 25. This driver is compatible with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or lower, as well as Adreno 6 series GPUs. And if we check the system info, here the Turnip Driver gets successfully configured with the updated Vulkan Driver on my Adreno 735 GPU. All right, guys, it's time for the test. Here, I'll turn off the Wi-Fi and enable Ultimate Mode. All right, let's first try God of War 3. Now, let's see how well this driver actually performs. In the previous update, most games crashed frequently. The core PPU utilization looks quite normal now. During shader compilation, it may crash sometimes. So if that happens, just reload the game. All right, it's finally loaded and it's quite stable now. When you load a game for the first time, you'll notice a lot of frame drops during the shader compilation. But when you load it for the second time, it'll be normal. Now, let's try Naruto Storm. As you can see, we are almost getting a stable 30 FPS. The Mesa Turnip Driver is working pretty well. Let's also test this on my Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Mesa Turnip Driver has been imported in the GPU driver. Now, let's test GTA 4. And as you can see, we're almost getting stable performance, around 25 FPS. So the Mesa Turnip Driver has definitely improved performance and stability in RPCS3 on Android.
Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe. All setup links are in the description, so check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.